It is July 3rd, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. In his latest 7D chess move, Elon surprised Twitter users with some exciting new features. First, he decreed a rate limit for everyone on the platform. Non-blue checks get to look at 600 tweets per day, while paying members get to look it up to 6,000 tweets. That may sound harsh, but this is just some tough love from the Twitter king to help us beat off our social media addictions. If you're having withdrawals, though, you can always count on a programmer with an anime profile image to save the day, like this person who developed a Chrome plugin that uses the old Twitter theme and bypasses the rate limit. The second new feature is that Twitter shut off all public access to the website, so currently you must be signed in to look at tweets. In other words, Twitter is almost a full-blown paywall site now. Officially, these new features were deployed on a Friday in a panic because too many bots and web scrapers were accessing tweets with automated tools. Web scraping is an absolutely despicable practice, and if you want to learn how to do it at an industrial scale, check out this video on my second channel. To add insult to injury, Twitter went down for a while yesterday, and it appears some bad JavaScript code made it into production that would call the API in an loop from the client side, resulting in a self-inflicted DDoS attack. The thing is though, real men test in production. I was able to obtain exclusive access to this garbage code, and what we have is a recursive async function that will catch and fetch forever. But Twitter's been around for nearly 20 years at this point, so why is web scraping all of a sudden a big problem? Well, a couple months ago, Twitter shut down access to its free API, and made it way too expensive for any of us peasant-level developers to access. This move also inspired the Reddit CEO to strap on a set of balls, and take his API pricing to the moon to kill off third-party apps. Despite a massive failed protest, the pricing went into effect yesterday, and third-party apps like Apollo are officially dead. Let's take a moment of silence for those we lost. thing about this whole Twitter fiasco is that I find it somewhat hard to believe that web scraping is the primary reason they would implement such drastic changes, especially because this would reduce advertising impressions, which is still by far its biggest source of revenue. If we do a little more research, we'll find that Twitter had been refusing to pay its Google Cloud bill, at least until recently. Sundar had to hit up Elon via SpaceX, his other company that launches rockets into fake space, which also does business with GCP. It's not the only bill that Twitter hasn't paid, and was recently evicted from its Boulder, Colorado offices over unpaid rent. The Google Cloud contract is a way bigger deal though at hundreds of millions of dollars per year, and coincidentally expired on June 30th. It's pure speculation whether these new features are related to the Google Cloud contract, but like I've said many times before, once you get locked into a cloud platform, they have you by the balls. If you stop paying the bill, you first get bumped down to a rate limited tier, and then eventually the lights go out. That could explain why Titter implemented a rate limit, because they're likely right in the middle of migrating their infrastructure to a Raspberry Pi, which are still pretty hard to come by. Another theory going around is that Elon is actually fighting a battle against agencies like the CIA and NSA, who are the ones behind all the scraping and trying to use Twitter to create a Death Star of censorship. I don't know if that's just Elon fanboy fiction, but I'm still putting my money on him in his upcoming death match against Zuck in the Roman Colosseum. He's got the body of a mid-century refrigerator, and I just don't see any way 5'8 Zuck will be able to overcome the size differential. But let me know whose corner you're in in the comments. No matter the outcome, though, the important thing is that we enjoy our bread and circuses. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.